Alright, good afternoon everyone. Today is Wednesday, uh, July 11th, 2012. Um, Going to go over the trades that we took in the live trading room this morning, the ones that we didn't take, and all that sort of stuff. Um, before I go any further, let me just uh, give you the results. We are up 8 ticks on the ES, we're down 9 ticks on the NQ, and we are down a little bit on the YM. Hold on, let me tell you exactly what we're down. Ticks, minus 15 ticks on the YM. We had couple of trades in a row that, that didn't work out for us on the YM. We did have another trade. I'll show it to you when, when I get to, well, you know, when I can start right out with the YM. Um, let's do that. I'll start right out with the YM. Here we go. Let's scroll back here to the beginning of the morning. All right. Now, in the morning, why don't I have all those trades marked up? Mm. Anyway, I'll just go through them. Here we go, 9.30. Uh, the market opened up right here. We had some bearish divergence right here. Um, we didn't take this trade. We missed this trade. Um, we had some bearish divergence right there. Tested the BBC, gave it down, closed for a nice move down. By the time it came back up here again, the cycle had moved up, so we did not have any opportunity right there. Um, the next short one that I took, there was some bearish divergence over here. Um, I missed this one as well. Now, guys, when I say I miss the trades, it means I really miss the trades. You know, people often ask me that when I talk to them. Um, I didn't miss it because I chose not to take it. I missed it because I really was doing something else. Um, I did take this trade right here, though. You see, we had the bearish divergence again. By the time, by the time I actually got filled in this trade, the cycle was moving up pretty far against me. Um, that was my first one that stopped me out. Stopped me out right there. It spun around and gave us an opportunity on the long side, right here. I believe I did take that, and I got a break even on it, I think. Um, the next one that I took, let's see, we had some bullish divergence right over here. Okay, right there. And the opportunity was when you had the up close right there. That one didn't go anywhere. Um, it came back down. We had some bearish divergence right here. Okay. Um, yeah, we had some bearish divergence right there. And we had a test of the BBC with a down close right there, all right, for the move down. Now, price moved up again right here, and I took this short right over here. I missed all those ones that you didn't see me uh, actually tell you I missed. I mean, tell you I took. I did take this one here, and that one stopped me out again. We had some bearish divergence down there on the bottom. It tested the BBC, gave me a down close. I went short, and it stopped me out. Um, it spun around and gave a long opportunity right up in here, but it didn't actually have the up close still down here, so we didn't look for for any of the, anything in there. We didn't take that trade at all. Um, the next trade that I actually took, it got down here to the weekly trading zone and was just stuck down there for a while. The next trade that I actually took was right over here, a little bit before the uh, the close of the morning session. We had a bearish cross. That means the MA1 crossed down below the BBC. Price pulled back up to test the BBC. Once it did, we got a down close, and we had bearish divergence. I did short that right there, and I had eight or nine ticks profit in it at one point, maybe even a little more. Um, and um, <laughs> and then I moved my stop to break even. It came back and took me out of break even. All right, that was the last trade that I actually took in the live trading room this morning. Um, there was really nothing else since then. You know, it was kind of a slow morning. I did miss a few nice opportunities there on the uh, on the YM. You know, easily easily should have been a, a positive morning had I gotten all the opportunities. Um, what I recommend to everyone who comes into the live trading room, you know, I'm trading three, four, or five different different markets. I recommend everybody just pick a market and trade that one market until they're really good at it. All right, that's what I recommend to everyone. Anyway, the next one, let's see, we'll go to the ES. Okay. Um, we had a couple of trades on the ES this morning, both of them profitable right here. We took a short right here, and it went about six or seven ticks in our favor. I think it actually even went eight or nine ticks in our favor, and I moved my stop to plus one point, and it ended up coming back right here and taking me out at plus one point. The next one did the same thing. It you know, gave me six or seven ticks profit. I moved my stop to plus one point, and it took me out at plus one point. Then it moved down, and it moved back up to this trend line that I had drawn on here. It touched the trend line, and then it, it dropped right off it. Um, you see right over here, it pulled back to the trend line, the same trend line. Again, uh, went sideways when it hit it, and now it's gone through it a little bit. 
um, you know, from a trade perspective, we pierced the blue envelope right here, suggesting it's going to move up five to six points, but we pierced the red envelope over here, suggesting it was going to move down five to six points. That's why I had this uh, squared run in here. I was thinking it was going to get down there once it settled out of this right here, once it got out of that that area. Um, right now, the market's really going sideways, and I wouldn't trade it at all. But there are, you know, if you were just solely trading it right now, regardless of uh, any kind of, any kind of uh, news event or uh, you know, global event that may be going on, um, you would be looking to go long right here. There's some bullish divergence to support the, the, uh, the decision, okay? But that's where it would be. Now, I ended plus 8 ticks on the ES this morning, okay? The next market is right here the NQ. Now I took a few trades on the NQ this morning as you can see. Um, the first one that I took right here we had bullish divergence, we had a bullish cross. You see how we're doing the same exact trade set up with the same set of indicators across all these markets. Um, that's you know, that's significant. It's really significant. If you guys didn't didn't understand that, let me say that again. We're doing the same setups across the different markets. You can do it on different time frames if you want but it's using the same set of indicators and the same trade setup. That makes it scalable across different markets. All right, so you don't have to learn something different for each market. All right, so we've got the bullish cross right here. Price moved up, came back down, tested the BBC, and gave an up close. I went long right there. It stopped me out a little better than to the tick. Um, then it moved up pretty much to where I'd anticipated it was going to go anyway. I was thinking the swing high over here would be the first area. Uh, after it did that, it turned around and dropped down. I missed the shorting opportunity right here. I believe I was in an ES trade at the time. But it, it missed the shorting opportunity right in there. Okay. Um, there was the bearish divergence. There was a bearish divergence. And <laughs> bearish divergence and a down close. It moved down from there. Um, the next opportunity over here, well, it wasn't actually an opportunity. We had the bearish divergence. The price moved up. And while it was moving up right here, it just went right through the BBC, so we didn't have an opportunity there. Now, when it did that, it brought the cycle portion of the slingshot up to the overbought area. When price retraced back down to the BBC right here, it gave us the divergence that we look for, the green line pulling away from the cycle portion. All right, we got that, tested the BBC, gave an up close. Now, the thing that you expect when that happens is this green line is going to work its way back up into the cycle portion right here. And that's exactly what happened. All right, if you look at all of these trades that I took, even this one here that lost it, this one, uh, you know, it stopped me out by a couple of ticks, and then it did what I expected it to do. The green line worked its way up into the cycle. Over here, the short green line worked its way down into the cycle. Okay. Over here, green line worked its way down into the cycle. Um, but anyway, uh, on the NQ, that first one there I lost eight ticks on. Um, scrolling down, you see over here there were more opportunities in here, and the green line worked its way down to the cycle. Down, well, in this case here, the cycle worked its way up to the green line. Um, you, once you lose your divergence like this, then you stop looking in that direction, okay? In this case, it still kept going down, but you can see the market was all over the place at the moment. Um, there were two opportunities here that I missed. I did take this one right here. This actually put me up a little bit, okay? Um, well, I was up a little bit. It actually brought me back to break even. It, while I was in the trade, it, it was up a little bit. It brought me back to be, uh, break even. All right. Um, we had the bullish divergence, bullish cross, tested the BBC with the up close. Then I took the next trade right here as well. When it, I had the bullish divergence, it bounced off the BBC, gave an up close, and that stopped me out right away. Uh, I missed the one right after that, which was right here. And this one never actually set all the way up because we had too many closes above the BBC right here. All right, once it spun around, uh, there was bullish divergence. Right here was an opportunity to get long. This was during the break, though. Um, right in here was an opportunity to get long. Okay. Um, right now, what we have going on is a short right there. You can see it working right now. We had the bearish divergence right here. Price tested the BBC, gave a down close. Right there was a spot to short. All right, over here, you could have probably done it, too. Um, it didn't actually hit the BBC on that one. I do like to see it hit the BBC. Okay. Um, now, let's see. That is the NQ.
Let me bring up a crude chart for you. I didn't take any crude trades this morning. We had the crude um, we had the crude inventories come out, and there was a larger draw than anticipated. Um, and you can see that that has made the price go up, all right, as as it should. Um, just going to scroll back here. I'm not going to go through every single trade set up here on the crude. Well, maybe I will. I don't know. We'll see. All right. You see it's the same exact thing. This is crude oil, four tick range. We had a bullish cross, a test of the BBC, and up close, and up it went. Okay. With the divergence down here. Spin it around, and down it went. Right there. Okay. Same thing right here. And let's see, over here we have bullish divergence, a test of the BBC, and an up close. Now this was right on the news event at 10.30. You see all these bars from 10.30 to 10.31? It painted all these bars. So I'm not going to go through that period right there. It's It was untradeable. You know, in hindsight, it looks okay. You could have shorted here, and, and it would have been good. You could have shorted here, and it would have been good. You could have gone long here, and it would have been good. But it all happened in seconds. It was really untradeable, so I'm not going to go through that. But over here, you see we have some bearish divergence um, right there. And price pulled up, tested the BBC, and gave it down close right there for a nice move down. Did it again right here for a small move down. Now, everything over here, we had bullish divergence, but we had too many closes down below. Um, over here, we had across below the BBC by the MA1, right? This line right here, the blue and red line is the MA1. The green line is the BBC. We had a cross down below the BBC. We had bearish divergence, a test of the BBC, and a down close, and down it went. And again there. And over here, it flipped around and went the opposite way. Okay, you can see that. And just in the last, well, well while we've been doing this, you can see there have been some moves here. Um, not not all that tradable in here just yet. I'm looking for a spot where it could have been traded right in here on the short side. You could have gotten right there. Um, that's that's about it, it looks like. You know, right now, the cycle portion of the uh, slingshot right now is, is oversold and it needs to be overbought if we're going to be looking on the long side. But you see, so the cycle portion is not on the, is not in sync with uh, the position of the MA1. If you're going to look to sell things, the MA1 needs to be below the BBC. Okay. And that that was our morning in the live trading room. All right. Um, I don't see any questions coming in. Not for this anyway. So I am going to wrap up my recording right about...